Hello everyone, welcome back. We are discussing projection of solids topic in the engineering drawing. So today we are going to discuss again the case in which axis of the solid is perpendicular to horizontal plane. Okay. In the previous video, I will discuss with you the triangular prism case in which axis of the triangular prism is perpendicular to horizontal plane. And today I am going to discuss with you the when the pentagonal prism is having the axis perpendicular to horizontal plane. So let's read out the question first. So the question states that the pentagonal prism with side of base 30 mm and axis 60. So you can see that this is 30 mm and height of the axis means height of the axis means to the height of the solid itself is 60 mm is resting on its base on HP. Okay, so you can see here that the prism have this base A, B, C, D, E, it rests on HP such that one of its rectangular faces is parallel to VP. So this is the second constraint that one of the rectangular faces must be parallel to VP. So I'll, you can see here that this rectangular face D, C, H, I this is a parallel to your VP okay and it is 15 mm away from it you can see that this is a 15 mm distance and this is a away from VP so draw the projections of the prism so you have to make the front view and top view of this prism this is a pentagonal prism so you can easily see that whenever the axis is perpendicular to HP you have to make the top view first because from the front view, you cannot see the true shape of your solid. The true shape of the solid in this case is pentagon. So pentagon is always seen from the top view. Okay. So that's why you have to make the top view first. So this is the imagination. I think you understand this imagination. Uh, this face, this rectangular face is parallel to VP. And this is 15 mm away from it. And the prism rests on its base on HP okay so let's start with it and first of all you have to make the top view and from the top view which is also a distance given that how much it is away from VP that is 15 so take that distance first so this is a distance which is 15 mm away from or in front of VP okay so let's start with polygon command so in the command line bar you have to set that how many sides so it is a pentagon so five sides write down five here enter now we have an edge here so take an edge and end point of edge is this one so i'll start making this one so you can see that this is, this is the way to do it write down the dimension of your edge which is 30 in this case so write down 30 so you can see that this is my top view so from the top view you can clearly see your top of pentagonal prism okay now with the help of this top view i'll make the front view okay initially i'll take the projections from all the corners towards your reference line okay so in this way take all the references from your all points okay so first of all, I'll make a nomenclature so you can understand it better way. So I'll make a nomenclature here. So this is A, improve its height, text height. I'll take it 8. Okay. Now inside of your pentagon, because you know that whenever you see from the top side, this face, that this face G H I J F is visible to you, but this is not visible to you okay this face is not visible to you this is visible to you so that face which is not visible to you that nomenclature should be right inside okay you know that this is according to the projection of solid theory okay so in this way make complete your nomenclature here i'll make like this i'll copy this put over here 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 and i also know that this one this one this one this one and this one okay 
now I'll know that this is B so write down B here so this is C so write down C here this is D so write down D here okay this is E so write down E here okay so you can see that this is a second phase from the top view so I'll write nomenclature inside A B C D E so in the same way I have to write down the outside phase which is visible to me so F so this point is F which relates to A you can see here then G then H this is I so this is the last one is J okay so you can make nomenclature in this way okay so now you know that whenever you are going through the projection of solids question you have to make the axis line over there okay but in this case your axis is you can see here this is axis line okay this is axis line and when you see from the front view you cannot see this axis line because it overlaps with this edge AF the AF edge you can see first and this is after your AF edge so it is not visible to you when you see from the front side so whenever you make a front view you cannot make here axis line because it overlaps with your AF okay the AF comes forward before your axis line so axis line will be not visible to you so that's why there is no need to make axis line over here okay so let's make a front view now so you know that from the front view you will see like this so you know that the height is given which is 60 mm so I'll make directly 60 mm over here this is 60 mm okay again from here 60 mm okay now complete like this okay now these are also visible to you these edges so make these edges also so this is also visible and this is also visible okay so you can see here that this one this one this one this a e a f is visible to you okay this e j is visible to you and b g is also visible now i'll make the nomenclature of this face so i know that this is a b c d e face and you can also see in the imagination this is a b c d e face okay let's start with i'll make like copy i copy this and i put over here this is a in the same way b select b copy and put over here in the same way okay sorry this is b should be here okay so then c copy c this one here then d copy then d should be here then e copy and put over here okay so this is the way to make the nomenclature in this way okay so i'm rest with the nomenclature of this up, upward face this is which is visible from the top view now make it like this again i'll copy it copy the things i'll know that this is g so i'll put g here again i copy f i put over here then h put over here then i and put over here and j copy and put over here now select all these because this is g dash so i'll make it g dash then h so h dash okay the same way f so f dash okay then i i dash okay then j j dash okay so in the same way this is b dash okay because it is a front view remember it front view always denoted with dashes okay so that's why you have to make dash here okay so this is a dash okay in the same way this is d dash okay and this last one is e dash okay so you can see it is way to write down the nomenclatures so it is very important to see the nomenclatures in the projection of solids i already discussed in the previous videos okay now you see that some edges are hidden in this 
now make that edges thick which are visible to you first make that things visible so these are visible so make it thick okay one more thing this edge this edge is also visible make it selected make it thick like this okay so you know that from the front view when you see that the extreme this edge is visible to you this af so make this also visible okay make it thick like this these one which is ej ej is also visible so i'll make it thick in the same way bg which is also visible from the front view so i'll make this thick but these edges which is id id and hc so here you can see that id and hc these are not visible edges from the front view so you have to make these lines you have to make these lines hidden you can see that this is a hidden line so you can see that this is a hidden edges from the front view you have to make these edges hidden as per this this is as per convention of lines so make a dimension and you know that this one and this one is 60 okay and one take again dimension take a line one so this one and this one is 30 okay so i done all the things so this is projection of solid coaster in which so this is a projection of solid coaster in this pentagonal prism and axis is perpendicular to hp okay so i hope you understand this question very important question thank you everyone